Hi there, Dana and Robin here with agelesswomenliving.com. And we're here to just share with you some more deep introspective thoughts. For... Deep thoughts on aging but <laughs> with Dana and Robin. Well, here's the thought I have. You know, when I turned 60, my mantra before Oprah was, 60 is the new 40, and I'm <laughs> sticking to that. Well, pretty soon, you know, in five years, I'll be saying 70 is the new 50. But here's my question, Robin. For you and for you watching, what is an old woman today? I mean, it's not a number, clearly. And you look, we see, you know, people in the media, and of course, some are aging better than others, but we're not just talking about the physical. But what, when you look at a woman, when do you say that old woman, that old woman said this or that old, what makes her old to you that you would call her? No, and I don't mean in a mean way. I'm but, laughing because I think that what we think is old, I'm laughing because um, I'm thinking about this kid that I was trying to um, educate when I was on my horse and he was spooking my horse. <laughs> telling him, you know, <laughs> don't do this. And I'm thinking after I left, he's probably going, oh my gosh, that old lady was scolding me. I mean, yeah. so, you know, I was an old lady at that moment to him. So it really is relative. It's so relative. Well, and I remember thinking back to my grandmother who died when she was 65, oh my gosh. six months older. Than, both my grandmothers died in their mid sixties, very close to the age I am now. Well, not only is that kind of like, oh, that's a little scary, but on top of that, they seemed so much older. Now, I know part of it's physical. I color my hair. I'm certainly gray. But there is something about the vitality of life. Mm -hmm. And when I see a woman, I, you know, physically, it is if she's moving really slow and maybe kind of hunched over and isn't vital and healthy. But you don't always know. When I lived in the Italian part of Switzerland, I used to be down in our local piazza all the time, walking behind these, what I thought were like thin, highly fashionable, young Italian women. They'd turn around, and Italians love their son a lot. And not to put them all in a box, because Italians are beautiful, but a lot, sometimes I'd be like, oh my gosh, that woman's in her 60s or 70s or more, because her face looks so old. So it was like this little paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. And so I always think, what is old to me? Old is much more a state of a mind. State of a mind, like Italian. <laughs> it's much more, I think, an attitude about life. And, you know, we can be any age, but still have a very youthful attitude about, um, about life and its possibilities. I saw a precious video the other day on Facebook, and it was a 90-year-old woman who was performing on ice skates. Oh, and... Did she have the same uh, flexibility and mobility? No, but she still was out there doing her moves. And I mean, it was, I mean, how many women at 90 are going to go do that? I mean, she was, she was fit. She was a little hunched over. I yes. mean, it's just, but it was precious. But that just reminds me, Robin, how we're going to close this show, this episode. Okay. Because if you ever <laughs> used to watch the old days of Saturday Night Live before it got really raunchy, <laughs> there was a character there. And she, she would boldly exclaim her age and tell you something. So we're going to boldly exclaim our age and close with this. I'm 64! I'm 50! And, and I can kick! And I can stretch! And I can kick! And I can stretch! Bye! <laughs>